Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Good, The Bad with Cat. I am Cat, and I'm excited today to do some makeup. I'm going on a little bit of an adventure with my daughter today. She's only in town for a couple more days, so we're going to go out and play, go out and eat some sushi with my sister. So I thought I would just do a get ready with me, and this is my everyday makeup. So I thought I needed to set the tone. So in my first video, I had done a very deep eye that I was specifically for New Year's Eve, but kind of what I would wear every day of the week today so that you can kind of see the baseline of my makeup and then um and then we'll learn from there so as i change things up we'll always have this as my reference point this is what you started as so we're gonna do that real quick all right i'm gonna pull my hair back i already forgot primer that's fantastic <laughs> My daughter's in the room with me, so she's not going to be on film, but she is in the room, so you might hear me talking to her. So I am using my Nor new Laura Geller, what's this, Spackle Primer? Spackle Skin Perfecting Primer. I actually really am enjoying it. Let that sit for a minute. Drink a little Starbucks. I went to Starbucks this morning. We had snow this morning. I live in a very dry desert climate so when we get snow it's a special day and then I'm going in with my elf halo glow um, we'll talk about this a little bit more in depth in another video but I do have the Charlotte Tilbury and then I did go by the I think it's the Revlon one look they're all, like all supposed to be duped on each other so I do have those um, which are pretty cool I'm trying to learn how to film so this has been pretty exciting and I'm trying to learn to not block myself when I film because, you know, when you do your own makeup, I'm not worried about is can someone see what I'm doing. So I am kind of known for using my fingers to do my makeup, my, 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 this product. You know, I do own a lot of brushes and I just think your skin, God gave you these natural beauty blenders. You know, my daughter, on the other hand, is an avid, 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 um, beauty blender she, she's over there beating her face as we talk so why do you emily why do you like say hi to the to the people hi why do you like beauty blenders versus other stuff because i break out when i use my hands <laughs> oh see that's that would definitely be a reason why i would move over to beauty blenders but i just feel like as i'm i don't know if it's because i'm heavy i don't know if it's because i'm older i just feel like sometimes stuff i don't know i just I just happen to really like the coverage my skin gives me. Now, where I will compromise and start using brushes. Oops. My contour. So I'm going in with the Ulta Tres Ponce Deep uh, uh, what's it, uh, Moisture Foundation Stick. And I'm gonna go in, and I do contour every day. And lay that down just real quick right there on each side so for me yes I know everybody right now is putting their bronzer and stuff or their blushes and I know I'm making my face longer but I have this here so I have this chubbiness underneath my face so if I put my cheeks way up here all you're gonna see is this weight so I feel like for me personally because I am a little bit heavy right now that did not say I wasn't beautiful I'm heavy and I working with the features I have right now I feel like it's better to go a little bit lower and make my face a little bit longer with that so if you're ever wondering why and what I don't know if this is correct but and then I'll go up here and since I have a larger forehead and I'm not quite ready to do bangs okay I almost did the other day for New Year's cut myself some bangs that would have been not a good thing I would have flipped out the next day but um, I'm trying not to block the camera guys sorry but I'm kind of laying down. So I think of contour as shaping your face. I want to shape it. So to give you an idea, I'm gonna go in with this little tiny brush right here and dab that just ever so lightly into the tip. See my nose? I'm now going to shape my nose a little bit. I'm gonna come up here and add a little shadow there. So contour should be cooler, like a gray, that was way too much, but that's okay. We can can always fix bad contour. And I'm going down the side of my noses. My nose, I have two multiple noses. 
one April. So see how I drew that line and I haven't smudged it in, but if you look at me straight on, it's like, whoa, is that a shadow? It looks dirty, but it's also, the whole illusion is to create. So I'm trying to create the fact that my face goes in. So I guess if I wanted to, if I really wanted to see if I could spin it out, I could go a little bit lower, but that's not what I do on my everyday face. So we won't do that today. All right. I'm going to go into my standard Alatus uh, bronzing stick. This is also a little bit probably cooler than what most people, a lot of people would use warmer, but I, I, I like it. I like the, I like the way it sits on my skin. So looking for, I know this is probably not the right brush, but I put this face angled. I really like it for bronze. And then I go in and I try. It's real easy to want to go through and do it fast by smearing, but you'll actually just end up smudging. So I try to do the bounce, pull, bounce, pull, bounce, pull, bounce, pull, bounce, pull, you know, to kind of create that. And then I go and add just a little bit more to the sides of my nose. You can now see that um, I should have a little bit of a shape. I should have a little bit of a shadowing on my head and a little bit of a shape here, which makes me happy. Now I'm gonna go in and I use the Maybelline Tattoo Studio. I use a lot of different things. This you have to go, this is, it's very wet. So you need to go like this and really, 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 I have to really wipe it off. Let me show you why. Look at how dark that is. I don't want an eyebrow like that. So I go in really light and I am just trying to color the hair. I just told you. What did I just tell everybody? Don't go in too dark. And what did I do? It's like your mom used to say, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> so I'm wiping it off. I'm going to go in ever so gently. I'm definitely going to have darker brows today because of that mess up. Because I don't want to start all the way over. But see, I'm just aiming to color the hairs. Do not say, eyebrows don't change if it's... Emily, look at the difference in my face. Night and day. Oh, she's so beautiful. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm going in. Okay. Okay. I believe everything is fixable. This is not even remotely correct. So I'm going to wait, and then I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to go in with my spoolie and clean up. So in the interim... What do I want to do? I'm going to start looking at my eyeshadow palette. So if you're disciplined enough to open a palette and be like, I know what I want, great. I know that I'm wearing a black tank top and a sweater today. And so I'm going to go into my Huda Beauty, um, Huda, Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette. I love this thing. And so I'm just going to kind of look at it while I'm waiting for these to dry. This has to dry completely or you'll just keep smearing it. So just know that. So, but see, now that it's dry, I can kind of go in with my finger and my spool. Normally you would not want to do that. This is not a good thing to do, but since it's way too much product dumped down, I have to. So see how it's like, I'm having to really comb. So I just, you know, I'm not going to wash my whole face off, but I have to deal with the situation. Now, two good things is I wear glasses number one and number two it's just everyday makeup so i'm not taking family photos or something so if my eyebrows are a little dark today it's okay all right i'm gonna go in to prime my eyes with makeup by mario i'm gonna take it doesn't really have a color but i like this one it's a little bit closer to my eye color <coughs> with my finger and i'm gonna cover each eye and the thing I like about this palette is sometimes with eye primer, you can get like, it can make it a little oily. So it gives you a little bit of a powder on the bottom to like throw down a full base. So you go like this with a big brush and kind of throw that over it to mattify it to now make it blendable. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So just go in and just throw a little bit of the powder on top of it. Now, I think I want to do a subtle eye today because it's an everyday look. So I am going to go into my Radiate right here. And I'm taking my brush and I'm just kind of tapping it in to get color on the brush. 
and I'm going to go in and I'm just going to lay this across. I should have zoomed you in for the eyebrows. Sorry, please forgive me for that. So I'm going into radiate into this one right here. <laughs> you guys can see my desk, sorry. And uh, I'm going to cut, put that in and I'm going to stick that all right here. What I'm trying to do is create like a, a buff line. I go all the way across because no matter what, I'm going to end up more than likely putting shimmer over there. So I'm going to try to do as much of my makeup with one brush as a goal. That's kind of an everyday goal. All right. So I'm going in with the other side real quick, and I'll show you since you didn't get to see it. I'm just going across, and I'm hitting just to kind of create a half moon across my eyes. So this is an everyday look, okay? Now I'm gonna go into Precious, which is a little bit darker, but I'm gonna go in with the other side of the brush. So Precious is this color right here. So as you can see, it's a bit darker than this color. So I'm gonna, cause I'm gonna darken it up just a tiny bit on this lower corner. So I'm gonna go over here with the darker side and see how it's just a tiny bit darker? Not much, but just to kind of give weight to this corner right here. See that? Just a very subtle. I'm doing the same thing over here. Just kind of building a little weight on this corner. I like the darker outer corner and do that. Because remember, this is my everyday look. So if I wanted to keep using this brush, which I often do, I'll go into my makeup wipe, kind of wipe it off. And then I'm going to go into this really pinky color right here called Cherished. I need to go get my nails done. They are disgusting. And I'm just taking that. My brush is a little too wet, so that's a bummer. I shouldn't have done that. But happy accidents. We're going to Bob Ross it. And I'm just kind of filling that in. So see how I have... Ugh. I kind of messed up with that, boys and girls. So I'm going in with a clean brush now, and I'm just filling in that gap. So the medium cover, the dark color, and now this whole side of my eye. <laughs> now my blush does not. This is my new Morphe brush. I'm trying something new. I said I wouldn't, but I grabbed it on accident. So I did that. So see how I, and then I feel like, well, on this side, I kind of got rid of some of that lighter stuff, the little medium color. So I'm going to go back and add that in. You know what I mean? And then, we can't go out without sparkle. I'm going to go into self-love, which is this dual chrome right here, with my finger. You could also, I'll show you the difference real quick. Emily, my daughter, uses brush. I always use my finger. So I'm going in. And I'm just laying it down across the whole lighter pink. Look at how pretty that is. I will go in a little bit. So let me show you what that looks like when you use a brush on the other side. So you can do it either way. I just think the finger does such a better job. See that? Barely got any color. So then for me, just go in with your finger. Look how pretty. That's actually looking really nice. I am going to go back in with that Radiate, which is the medium color, and just kind of darken up this side real quick. Darken up this little side real quick. And then my favorite thing to do is these are a dollar. They're Wet n' Wilds elves. They look like this. So I'm going to go in to this one, and I'm going to go below to the, what does that say? Mantra, which is this color right here. And I love a good under eye. <laughs> Trying to follow all my rules that I set for YouTube. This lady, um, I'm sorry, I'm blocking what I'm doing. So I'm going in with Mantra, which is a little bit, just a little bit sh darker of the shade I put on the outside. What I like about this palette and then I'm gonna go on top and do a little bit of a wing with it. I'm not gonna do anything except for just add a little color on that side. I'm not doing a real wing, but see how that just changed everything. It made my eye bigger. That was a physical change right there. That was awesome. 
Emmy, are you done? She looks so pretty. So what I do, cover it, and then I'm running into my eye, into my waterline, and right below it. See? And then you can see the difference in the top, and then I go in, and again, I'm just with the brush the right side, running a little bit of a line. This is going to fade out. This is not something I'm hoping will be there all day. Just something that'll be there right now. What do we think? All right. So the last but not least, we got to throw on some, well, not last but not least, but pretty last. I'm not using that. I pulled out the wrong blush. I wanted to try this new Milani, but I think that's just way too peachy. I'm going to go into this color pop that my daughter gave me in Secret Crush. And I take a brush, take this, and I'm going to stick it on both cheeks. And then I love a good sparkly blush. So I'm going to go in with Baked Highlighter and add that on top. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. All right. And then I got to do some mascara. Where's my mascara? Oh, and I don't really wear lipsticks. So what I do, what I did want to show you that I do, or maybe not. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Put it, put it. I'm going to try a new mascara today. This is Telescopic by L'Oreal. So far, I'm not going to lie, outside of their one, I haven't been super impressed with L'Oreal. But, oh... Okay, I had heard about this. This is interesting. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you again. So it's flat and then bristles. So what it looks like you do is you go up to your eye and use the flat side to deposit the product onto your eyelashes. And then you turn it over and use the bristles to calm it out. That's actually pretty freaking cool. All right. So I went in, I'm going to go and show you on this camera. I went in and definitely two, a little bit over two layers. I definitely got a lot of mascara out of it. I did, I don't know ladies if you've ever done this where you blink and you blink into your mascara and you end up hurting your eye. It's the most painful thing ever. So my last thing is this chick loves highlight. I'm going to go in with my pinky and add just a little bit more because it's just not enough. So I just love. And then I'm going to stick it right here, right here on the tip, on my lips. Now, I don't wear lipstick, but I it needs something. So normally I have these little lip balms that are colored, and I don't know where that is. So I think that's going to be it. Not really. I'm not a lipstick girl. I'm going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter, because we're going to have a long day. And here we go. All right, guys, so this is my everyday look. If you know me, anytime I'm out, this is more than likely what you see, see when you see me. The only difference is, is I actually wear glasses, and so um, hence why I wasn't worried about my eyebrows going too wild. So normally this is what I look like. But I don't want you guys to see the glare. It's kind of annoying, so I will not wear my glasses right now. Um, so yeah, I really like my eyes. It's very simple. It's very, like, for me, this is a simple eye. I can go, I like to do a little bit brighter. I tend to do blacks, blues, greens. I don't tend to do fluorescents or anything. I do own some, but I feel like I, I just don't like them as much. Um, but yeah, so this is the starting point. I got a lot of stuff for Christmas, so I'm going to start filming that stuff soon. I've been playing with it, so I kind of have a better idea of what I think about everything. But I can't wait. We've got some really cool makeup ideas coming up in the near future. So we'll see you in the next one. Remember, you are seen, you are loved, and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye!